503. Is there any public comment from the committee? Any public comment from the public? And then we'll move on to uh, committee review of the capital request and prioritizing the request. So I handed out uh, a spreadsheet or schedule that I put together that uh, works off of the uh, spreadsheet that John and Heather made and I just copied and pasted the information off of there to just boil down the request for this year by department so we can use that as a tool to <coughs> make some of our decisions tonight in prioritization. So what we did last year <coughs> for the prioritization, which I thought worked pretty well, was we kind of each quickly kind of labeled what we thought was a yes for this year, what we thought was a no for sure, and then identified what was kind of on the bubble, maybe this year, maybe next year, but certainly fits the program. Mm -hmm. um, so unless anyone has any objection to that method, uh, I think it would be a good way to sure. at least determine which items are hot topics to debate and which one we definitely want to support. Mm -hmm. I guess while you, uh, you all are reading through it, I'll quickly read off for the camera and anyone watching us at home so they know what we're talking about. We should read off the items in the email. Uh, so for the fire department, there's a request to replace uh, ladder number one uh, at $935,000 request to replace engine number four at $646,000 and a request to replace rescue two which is an ambulance for $285,000. Police were requesting two marked police vehicles uh, for a total of $112,000. Also requesting uh, Protective gear for $20,000, duty gear for 29 officers at uh, $11,600, a two-person ATV for $18,000, and a patrol boat for $15,000. The schools requested uh, monies for asbestos abatement and ceiling replacement in the Turkey Hill El Elementary School for a total of $130,000 and also a upgrade to the phone system at the primary school for $35,000. Uh, DPW director requested two Ford uh, utility body pickups or plows for, uh, at the cost of $45,000 each. And some miscellaneous items that weren't requested by the individual department heads, but we know about them and they exist, was uh, upgrade to the public safety building automation system for $16,000 and a uh, demolition of the trailer behind the Passios building for $28,000. I think uh, Dan and I missed this earlier. Um, the DPW roof. Yeah, the DPW roof, exactly. For $65,000. Right. I was under the, the impression that he pushed that to next year, so I didn't include mm -hmm. that. Um, in conversation anyway, but we can, we can put that on there to, to keep in mind too. Um, yeah, he, he was talking about future planning and his roof replacement. Replacement is recommended 65000 but he did talk about the offset, that everything's dripping and he doesn't know how long it's going to hold up if we wait a year. I think that's what he was saying, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So we can keep that. So let's add that back in. Sixty-five. Okay. <laughs> For DPW roof repair. Yeah. Just to let you know, I um, had a meeting today with the DPW director, mm -hmm. as well as some of the other department heads that. Their facility, you know, the police and fire chiefs, the library director, and uh, the council and aging director, just to make sure any projects made it onto the capital plan. Mm -hmm. We reviewed them all, and there were 
couple of new ones, oh. um, unknown amounts in years, but just to put on everyone's oh, okay. radar okay. Mm-hmm. that they're, and I'll go to the, um, the library painting of all the rooms. Mm-hmm. The lighting at the library, that, that lighting project that was part of Green Communities that mm-hmm. needs to be addressed. Okay. The lights um, are not working effectively. The public safety building in the police side is experiencing, experiencing some heating issues, especially in the female cell block mm-hmm. and the uh, fleet bay. That's an unknown. And the senior center, the front entrance, uh, oh, yeah. reconfigured that yep. because of the ice dam that builds up and causes leaking into the front. And the, if you've ever seen the pictures <laughs> or been there, yeah. when yeah. the ice dam caused the sure. severe. So just to put on your radar. Yep. Yeah. Now, but please, just to, just to verify you. Talk about the um, heat issues in part of the building, mm-hmm. in the public safety building. And what was the next thing that you mentioned? The senior center, the front yes. entrance to reconfigure that. Yeah. No, I mean, the after the bay. heat you issues, it's something it about a, the, the south, bay. Female um, cell block no. and the fleet bay. Yeah. Fleet bay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Is that something that maybe we should uh, that one pair is with the automated? Uh, uh, pair with the automation system and a larger project, or the two should exist separately? I think you would want to address the heating system before you do a building automation system. Right. My yep. like, first line, that's what I think. But, um, well, you need a professional to come in and right. take a look at that. But um, we are in the process of getting an energy audit, and they're going to be coming back out mm-hmm. next week to do the heating portion of the public safety building. Okay. So, but that will be a few weeks before we get any information from that. But that could, you know, indicate certain rebates that are available for upgrades to the system. With respect to the fleet bay, if it's the same thing, I talked to uh, Chief Moreno about yesterday. He called it the carport. It's uh, there's there's some engineering with respect to the support being there, and uh, it's on Jack's list. It's facilities management, but he's got it out uh, a couple more, couple, couple years past this. And it's a two-step process. One is uh, several thousand dollars for the actual engineering, spec work, and design. Then the follow-on project with actually doing it. But I think that's 2022 and 2023. Three, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's far away. Is everyone... Uh, um, taking a first glance at their own prioritization. Um, yeah, how are we mm-hmm. handling this fire? Right, so another, I guess a data point I could ask Heather, mm-hmm. is um, how much money do we have in the Capital Planning Stabilization Fund? The special purpose fund? Yes. 200000 yeah. Even? Yes. Yeah. I requested Karen to talk to um, our financial advisor about getting uh, a debt schedule if we did borrowing for that item. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. And on two different options, the full amount, um, or if we put, say, a down payment, you know, we put yeah. 200000 down and it would be <coughs> 735 if that's the ladder truck. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I, I would be interested in, you know, can shake this out as we go, but if we at least get to a point where we could get a rough number of what we'd be able to put down and then have mm-hmm. to do this, the, the, you know, the schedule, that schedule. Um, just to know, compare to us just waiting so we can fund it outright. Just mm-hmm. keep in mind that debt wouldn't actually kick in until fiscal 20. Yeah, right. Too. What are the prospects this year of us making another contribution to their deposit in the uh, Special Purpose Stabilization Fund. Positive. Positive? Mm-hmm. About the same amount as last year? Oh, that's well, the <laughs> projection. Okay. So, yeah. Excuse that. I w- that, that. To me, that was earmarked for precisely these large trucks, mm-hmm. large fire trucks, because I don't know how else we're going to do it. Really. Uh, and the, yes, I guess 
a combination of that and debt. But uh, it's okay. Yeah. So I guess in that compare in the in the figuring out the debt the fee schedule for the debt would be um, I guess a comparison to we know that these things go up five percent annually in cost pretty you know mm -hmm. pretty exactly. So mm -hmm. our, are we actually saving money <laughs> exactly. to wait yeah. versus to finance it would be yep. the number that I think we need to understand to, to make a good decision. And just yeah. coincidentally, something happened with the ladder truck today. Where oh, it was, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um... I guess we can go around the table and. Well, I'm just standing in all that for <laughs> Now, something like this asbestos removal before the school books, that really has to be done, right? Are we saying that has to be done? No, it's, it's not a mandate. It's part of ongoing maintenance of the building mm -hmm. and good practice for him because if he wants to do upgrades to the ceiling or keep the building in good shape, he's. Right got to be in there working in the ceiling and that requires right. the abasement. But mm -hmm. is yeah, it, it we could say no, yes, but okay. as far as... But he'll run into that as they... He's going to run in, he's going to end up cracking something along the way when he's... If we were to ignore it, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So incidentally, that thing we just was just questioned is only three thousand dollars over what they expected last year for this. It's scheduled at one twenty-seven instead of one thirty. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what the this? Yeah. I think they had funds left over. They did. And they're using them so for the hallways. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. no. So, um, if we fund everything, it's five hundred and forty-one thousand dollars and two hundred fifteen, two hundred fourteen for everything other than the fire truck. If you add it all. Five forty. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. So I guess the. <laughs> so I'll just I throw. Just well, it was. Right. Yeah. And I'll I'll throw out my method because I was kind of punching <laughs> the same numbers last night. Mm -hmm. Um. I would be interested in. You know, paring down, not just say we fund everything else, but pare down what we think is important and try to at least designate a chunk that we could either put to the stabilization plan or use to help as a down payment. So I'd, li I'd like to find, be able to identify some number that we could put yeah. towards that with it. Understanding oh, it's not. Exactly. Left. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's where I was going to. We yeah. still have $100,000. Yep. Yep. Yeah. $100,000. So that, that, that would get us there. That would get We've got some funded everything. Yeah. Yep. So, yes. I, I, so I'll, I'll just throw out what I said. Remember, so. they're not wish lists. <laughs> no, they're not. We've been told no, they're not wish lists. They need these things to be done. Mm -hmm. So for my my absolute yeses, I'll just... Okay, tell me. I'll, I was going to... Yes, fund everything for the police. <coughs> okay, that was me too. I was going to yep. say yes to the asbestos abatement in the school mm -hmm. and give the DPW his two trucks. Let's see. And then, again, try to identify a number to put towards that ladder, knowing it's not going to be the 900,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are my, my absolute yeses. And then the, everything else is kind of on the bubble for discussion. Oh, see, I think we have to get rid of the trailer behind TCP. Okay. It's a liability issue. And the vandalized and broken mm -hmm. issue. Yeah, it's yep. just a huge liability issue. I think kids probably get on that. And with me, the only the only difference with that is that I would fund one of the DPW trucks. They're replacing two separate trucks. One is the replacing 2005 truck. He needs that replacement pretty quickly. The second one replaces the 2008 truck. Jack said he could get by with for a couple of years. So I just kicked that down the, down the road and used the $45,000 there for additional uh, funding of the, uh, the capital stabilization plan, putting toward one of the one of the fire trucks. Yeah, I, I see that point of view. I said yes to both because Jack <coughs> kind of warned us about that $205,000 Fire truck he's going to be looking for next year. Yep, yep. And I didn't want to fall behind on it. 
No, that's a good point. Okay. Well, last year, he had, he had put the 08 Ford uh, on his 20, 2020. Again, I think he's just, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but anticipating a big year next year and wanted to even things out a little bit. Um, so the 10 wheeler he had on for next year, for the 2020 as well, last year. Right, so maybe the takeaway tonight could be that Heather, let me know if this is helpful to you in the process we're going to be going through, but we could hammer out the things you're absolutely yes to, mm -hmm. at least not just yeah. yep. make some progress for us. Mm -hmm. sure. okay. Does any, anything else that anyone wanted to add to or debate about the, the, that we definitely should be doing this year? So why do you think that we don't need the phone upgrade as a primary school? <coughs> to, to tie it into oh. the yeah. Alice training? I thought we said yes on that. No. Uh, I, well, personally, no. myself, I didn't, but, oh, but that's what we were talking about. Right. Um, I just was comparing it to a fire truck and yeah. as far as immediate need. But uh, I certainly think it's a, it's a valuable project. I wouldn't say it doesn't belong there. No, I'm just wondering what, there, what it looks like next year for the school. So, excuse my ignorance, but we're working on FY19, right? Correct. Okay, so I was a year ahead of myself. You were here last year, and I was here the year before. Yep. Yes. Okay. So, the primary phones were asked for two years. Yeah, they were, they've been on there for a while. That's why I'm just wondering. This, I think, is the fourth year for the ETV from the police. Yeah, that's why that's definitely, I, I would have to say yes to that. And even though the patrol boat for me is a, it's new on there this year, but having unreli unreliable equipment, being stuck out in the water, the amount that they use that thing over the summer yeah. seems, seems pertinent to get them the right equipment for that. That's a safety issue, too. And you know, somebody's in trouble um, out there. Oh, the boat. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would say to include that. Looks like next year the school's requesting three no, things that another phase the asbestos, um, the air conditioning at Turkey Hill, mm -hmm. and the primary school air conditioning. And I thought that um, he, he sent in a different number for the phone system. It was reduced by five thousand dollars. Did he send it over to for thirty thousand yeah. dollars? Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's thirty-five on the. Uh, he the just presented it. They just oh. at our last meeting. Okay. Oh. So it's thirty. Sorry. Yeah. It's thirty thousand dollars. So I've changed that here. I know he was <coughs> busy that's, over the weekend. And that's the uh, primary phone system upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thirty thousand dollars. It might come in even small loud less. Sixteen than that. seventeen. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. I just want to get it right, Heather. I'll make a Heather shrug a note here. What? Heather Shrug said. He presented it at our last meeting. Yeah. I thought he sent it over, but he was busy. <laughs> over the weekend, so
630000 next year, less to bar less the debt service costs. Okay. So if we have 50k of debt service costs, really 580 we have for next year. So you got to do some. I reckon that's right, right? Repeat that again, John. If, if you have that much less for debt service, yeah. Yeah. What we do is we we ju we just for the ex for the duration of the borrowing mm -hmm. when we when when we're. Uh, doing the debt service, mm -hmm. we would reduce the uh, capital plan by the amount of the debt service for, you know, so, so if we borrowed for five years, you would reduce it by the amount of the annual debt service each year for that. The <coughs> amount allocated towards capital? Just allocated towards capital. At least that's the way we had done it in the past, um, now perhaps. I would think it be built into the operating budget. And really? Yeah. That so is an expense mm -hmm. as you were saying. That works really well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know that we've ever borrowed while I was sitting on We did. When did well, we borrow? I, I don't remember what it was, but I do remember that that, that was uh, that, that was an issue that we had. I thought we looked into what it was. But okay. I don't think we ever borrowed really? for anything okay. that well, we Well, I, I do know that that was one of the, one of the one of the uh, cash flows we had, we had uh, uh, projected, right? And the fact that we, how it would affect the uh, capital plan, mm -hmm. the capital budget going going forth. And I, I, I I'm probably wrong, but I thought we did in fact borrow something. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> had some previous um, capital debt um, mm -hmm. borrowing for a fire truck. Yep. Um, what was that? 2007, um, an ambulance, a dump truck, multi-purpose truck, fire pumper mm -hmm. in 2009. Combined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 2000 was a good year for me. But that didn't affect the capital budget at all. It was a separate line item. I would assume not. Then those items were still making payments on the So, Heather, when you spoke about potentially monies available to add to the stabilization fund, were you talking about, you know, 
new growth type of stuff like that, financing that, or actually us calling that out tonight or as a process here? You mean taking what we have in the current special FSC utilization? No, uh, so John mentioned what, how likely is it that we could add to it <coughs> this year in the same way we did last year. Would that be from money yet to be determined or from, from us designating it specifically out of the 650? Not you designate. Okay. 650. Okay. No, Great. it's yeah outside of that. Great. Yeah, so I'm adding up uh, just my calculations. And I know some double checker. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm wrong, but if we fund everything from the police, both mm -hmm. requests from the school with the adjustment to thirty thousand instead of thirty-five. Mm -hmm. The two DPW trucks. Uh, demo of the trailer. TCP and the 65k for the DPW roof repair. I'm getting 520-214. Okay. Um, That's 128 thousand dollars, roughly. Uh, they could presumably go to uh, something else or to to the fire truck. To, yeah. to, yeah. to the fire truck. Um, and I mean, the other things that we're going to have to handle with the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, and what was that amount again? One ninety. For which? The the difference between uh, you know when we once we fund what we were just what you were just talking about, it leaves one hundred and ninety thousand dollars. No, it leaves about uh, one hundred and. A little less than 130. Okay. Yeah. 128,000. 127,860. Which. Uh, so we would do the roof? That was. Yeah, that's what we To me, I. Yeah. Still feels light to me for the contribution we should be making to the fire truck, um, yeah. notwithstanding any of the financing options. And we can go back and just pick up one of the pickup, cover, uh, fund one of the pickup trucks. That'll give us another forty-five thousand three hundred dollars there. Yeah, if you just did one and just let the roof. Because the other one, you know, he doesn't. He he did say he thought that that one of them would uh, last. Yeah. Another yeah. year for you know yeah. a lower uh, any mileage. Any Anytime we can find a nickel to to, to uh, you know to, uh, go to the fire trucks, it's like. Especially since like Good two years ago, we gave him all of his equipment. Yep. Yes. Yep. He mentioned that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is is it an it option? Huge. Is, is it an option to fund for one police vehicle instead of both? That would be sixty-one. Not. I no. Mean, yeah, not a not police. Not, uh, the wear and tear that they get. Yeah. I think. That's different. He's, uh, I just had a conversation with him about that uh, two days ago. He was talking about those two vehicles being needed for replacement. Wasn't that the number one for him? Yep, the yeah. first priority. Correction on the stabilization special purpose. It's 235 after special because there was an amendment on the floor. Okay. To transfer 35,000. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a special town meeting. So 235 plus 122 plus 45 is up around 400. Yeah. Nice round still number. not half. <laughs> still not even halfway there, though. But it's a heck of a lot further there than we were when we sat sat down. Right. In this case. But if so I guess that might be a jumping off point to determine financing from. Yeah. The standpoint but of. If I remember, Karen Brochu said part part of the financing is the finance cost is determined by. Uh, you know, on a principle, you, uh, you you borrow the, the interest rate, etc. And I know there's there's a threshold for the for the state house notes. I don't know what the threshold is, I can't but uh, I know that the, w w one of the things that helps us with something like the state house notes is when it's a lower uh, lower principle. <coughs> I think their their, their issue is that five years isn't yeah, the term can't it. exceed five years. Um, or so. Nope. No. But I think that. Like to less than a million. Is that right? Okay. So if 
we had to say something was on the bubble. Which, which, uh, so we said one of the pickup trucks would be, yeah, the second we put on the bubble. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty clear about that. Yep. We take that out. We're, we're saying, we're saying, we're going with the police because we'll give them what they need. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the asbestos. Nobody has an objection no, to that. Yeah, Did I hear that we want to do the phone system? Is that a consensus? Well, it, is, it is for me. I, yeah. Well, I don't know if I a consensus with one. <laughs> well, two anyway. <laughs> Matt and Caroline, how do you feel about that? <coughs> Well, I'm kind of perturbed that the 2008 building needs new phones. <coughs> Is it 2008, I think, the primary? Mm -hmm. Ten years. No, I thought it was older than that. I thought it was almost 15. I do. Well, we still got some of those telephones that don't even have the rotary. They still work. Oh, no, it's an upgrade so that it's um, Alice. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a, there's the a special update. Safety note for you. For safety issues. Okay. So, but they're handling yeah. this, they're handling the safety issues yeah. now. Yes. And they did video so we are with donation. Okay. Well check it out. This is their first request for um, the telephone. No, this is like the four. It's the four. Yeah. Yeah, see I I still did, can't find those uh, worksheets, but yeah, it's been on there for a while. I think it, what it is is you can't make an announcement for your room if like someone comes in. Uh, I, I see. see. Yeah. Yes. I think yes. you can't say hello and mm -hmm. make an announcement across the, the whole board. Square. Yeah. I see. And that's what that will be able to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. enable individual classroom teachers to really initiate the process right. for a lockdown, which is. Uh, the, the question is, can they do that separately? Like, do they have to replace the whole phone system uh, to do that? We've looked into this many times. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. For Mr. Lawson, we've sent him back how many times. <laughs> well, on the plus side, the money hasn't gone up in two years. Well, he said, and this is and with a cushion. This five is thirty thousand dollars with a yeah. cushion. Yes. It might be less than the thirty. Oh, it went down by five. Yeah. 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 Okay, because we keep sending them back. And he took things off of his capital plan because I found that the shape structures are gone. And they're going to do that themselves. The maintenance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Somebody here saying that would like to really leave that as a yes? Or yes. The phone? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But the other schools. Have they been upgraded to? Can the they high school is fine. They can. The they, yeah, that's brand new. Yeah. The, okay. The, 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 the Turkey, with Turkey Hill is just done. Okay. So it's the only school that hasn't yes. been upgraded to yes. that. And I've heard. I think I heard a consensus on yes to demolishing the trailer. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. And I heard we're going to hold on the public safety automation because there's bigger problems they got to solve up there. Yep. Yes. That needs priority, right? Yes. This is low priority. Yep. And we are putting the DPW roof repair as a yes or a maybe? I would say yes. I thought that was a yes or the, one, the other truck. Over the truck, okay. Yep. Yes, right. right. That one, truck, one truck and then the roof, roof right. and then the yep. other truck is in yep. right. the bubble. Right. The roof protects the asset. Yes. So yes. yes. The only bubble option we've given us is the one pickup truck. The one pickup truck. The low priority <laughs> on the public safety so building would be. Well, but. Okay. Um, do we have a, a timeline for the building condition assessment? The week of the 15th. It should be in the week of the 15th. Mm -hmm. So that's next week. Oh, well, we won't, we won't have it. I don't know when. Yeah, we, we won't have it <laughs> on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> it could be the end of the week. Right. Okay. Probably the end of the week if it's an architect. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll. Unless there's anything else you want to bat back and forth, I think that's at least a 
place we can start to well, continue to have our conversation from. Sure. Uh, we might need to look for some more bubble items once we see any imminent threats on that one, on that uh, condition assessment. But uh, I think this is this would give us a halfway decent number <coughs> towards that fire truck, and then we'll look into financing options versus if we just let the cost escalate 5% every year. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought I saw some line items for body armor, right, controls, and... You know those body armor? Yep, right here. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, I second. mean, in, in line items, in, as an expense item. Really? They got vests two years ago. They got, yeah, they got one of the vests a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Capital, but what I was saying is I thought I saw um, those items in their expense line as well. Hmm. I thought that the stuff that he had tried to get a grant for it yes. was not successful. Yeah, it was on there last year. Yeah. placements or something. I don't know. Where do you remember seeing that? Mm -hmm. In the in in the this line item view, but I may not may not be looking at the same information. Yeah, I printed it off the whole thing. It's under this under your name. I thought I'd see the capital stuff in here too, but it isn't just the line items. Okay. It's a line item, but it was zero. He zeroed that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still yeah. 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 Okay. Structure. All right. Thanks. Well, these were submitted to. But that was for yeah. Yeah. Because right. yeah. probably it was included in capital. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To answer your question about state house notes, it's. Uh, yeah. Where was I? A million it to can, can, million. can be more than yeah. ten years, and ten years. can be maybe longer. Yeah. Okay. I think I looked at the state house notes for five mm -hmm. years, I think, because it really significantly reduced the uh, overall borrowing cost. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interject. But it's fine. Uh, so I guess just my calculation, not counting that second. Pickup truck, yep. but everything else. I was at four seventy four nine oh seven. Without that in the um, public safety, right? Right. Okay. Good. Understanding that any leftover would go towards, well, obviously up for discussion with our mm -hmm. uh, information we're going to be presented with, but also to go towards the ladder truck. Yep. There's a shade under $125,000, which is pretty good. And then you're still looking to um, the special purpose, 200000 that you're talking about, still looking to put that towards the fire truck or save it for building <coughs> the expenses that you don't know about yet, the building expenses? The 235 that's in the special purpose stabilization would stay there. The reason. The reason we put it there was for a fire truck mm -hmm. when, we, when we made it. But, uh, so yes, I would I believe my intent anyway would be to use that towards a fire truck when we purchase a fire truck. Okay. Yeah. So you call it the special purpose fund? Stabilization. Stabilization. Stabilization, yep. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if there is a surplus in our allowed budget this year, is that where that, where that surplus would go? That special purpose stabilization? Would you move it to there? Or no, it just... 
goes away. It goes back into the regular budget, right? Um, Does it go into the operating budget? Yeah, it would go towards. Yeah, but it could go towards potentially. So how did that go towards the pool of money? So how did the money get there in the first place? I'm sorry. We put it there. Yeah, from capital planning. So yeah, so that it would be used for the. Mm-hmm. No, it was put there. Well, part of the budget. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, yeah. timing. Part, yeah, right. Well, yeah. And then we put the thirty, the extra thirty-five was at the special time meeting last mm-hmm. month, right, mm-hmm. or the yeah. month before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I remember that. But that wasn't for something in particular. I thought it was something in particular. Mm-hmm. That was Dave Passius, and that was yeah. for the, 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 the assessment of the Wallace building. Wallace Park. No, that was oh. another a different amendment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Too much. <laughs> Too many. We had too much fun that day. Yeah, Remember how many amendments? You think I, I took an hour for the first one. <laughs> for the first thing. Yeah, right. right? An amendment to an amendment yeah, for the first an hour. Mm-hmm. An amendment on an amendment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody changed the clock because it was it was reading an hour later than it was when we left. Really? But I, I didn't notice what it was when we got there. But I noticed that it was, um, I think it was 11.30, said 11.30, and we actually left at 10.30. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. I'm sorry. I, I was, I've been having difficulty staying up past 10 o'clock. I was <laughs> astonished and really happy about it until somebody disabused me the fact that it was actually 10 o'clock. <laughs> well, that's so funny. Okay. So... Good for our discussion tonight. Well, uh, do you have a clean copy that I could use to scan in? And do you, uh, would you want me to scan that in? I can add the items that were approved. Or do you want me to just list them out? Yeah. Okay. Again, this is all you know, in flux, though. But yeah, I'll have a clean copy for you. Speaking of, do we have? Uh, any minutes here to approve? Yes. <coughs> um, I still have to make. Uh, I, I didn't have the amount, the capital, uh, the, the amount of the two Ford pickup trucks, but I have it now. You know, with this information here, so that's that needs to be added. I found it here. So here's John. Thank you. I thought I. Then um, I forgot to put the adjournment time on this one as well. So, so I need to just I need to just add those in there. Um, I know that myself, but whatever else you guys see. Uh, so, the since priority would be to replace the 2,500 truck. I think it's 2,005 truck. Yeah. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I see. Oops. Thank you. Meeting, you're going to wait till the property condition assessment. Person, I think we should wait till the yeah. assessment comes in. And uh, so two weeks would be the right. soonest, right? Mm-hmm. So the. So they're co- it's coming in the week of the holiday? Is that what you said? Yep, next week is the week of the holiday, right? So they'll be the 20th. Yeah. Yep. We kind of need this done by the end of the month so we can make mm-hmm. some real decisions. Yeah. 
So for the for the minutes, I did um, alter the um, margins uh, on the sheet so you can see that there was um, a lot of uh, space <coughs> gain. <laughs> so we can do one page uh, notes, hopefully. We'll make the lady downstairs very happy. <laughs> <laughs> So if I make those changes, then everything is all set with the, these meetings. Then the last. So we even have to vote to approve the, the minutes with the changes, and then she can make the changes and then submit them to the lady downstairs. But I wasn't here, so I can't vote. So you mm -hmm. I'm not a member. Somebody else <laughs> yeah. has to do that. So you do that. Because okay. David. I make a motion to approve the minutes as amended. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. So, so you'll have them and then you'll give them to her downstairs. Yep. Actually, I'm going to send her. I've been, I, you know, yes, okay. she said that I could actually send it to her that way wow. instead of dropping them off. Really? Now well, we're going high tech. Yeah, but it makes it a lot easier, you know. Well, yeah. Some of these <laughs> have been in the back of my car for days. Because <laughs> I couldn't, didn't get to the. Um, <coughs> That's it. Okay, so we the next meeting date will be the 23rd. Is there any public comment from the public? Any public comment from the board? No, sir. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourned at 5:50.